Hello, this is Dare Tebbers, and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. We have two mods today. We're solving a problem, and we're solving a half problem today. So let's start with our half problem. Our half problem is we have all these containers sitting all over the place. What am I talking about? Well, if I if I run out here really quick. Um, and I look, I think I look left, thank you, look to my right there. See, there's a container right there from the hook lift pack. Um, there's more containers somewhere over there. They're all over the place, really. Thank you. So, you have to go get the hook lift trailer and get a tractor and you drive out there and you hook lift it. And that's, that's great, it works wonderfully, but I was wondering if there was another solution and I think I found one. So, if I open this up, I go to Tractors. Move down here. Uh, oh, there it was. Nope, I lied. That wasn't it. There it is. Okay, first things first, the price is rubbish. $180. Whatever. It needs to be like $180,000, but it's supposed to be a Scania hook lift. So, we're going to buy this guy. Uh huh. Okay. Um, it's a hover vehicle. Interesting. Does it have like a... No? That's... Oh, oh! Oh, it's one of these ones! Where they... Oh, wait, no. Wait, there's a... Oh, am I walking underneath it? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I'm walking in. I'm walking through the wheel well. <laughs> I'm also able to walk through the fuel tanks, but... Okay, do we have a problem back here? No? I can get on it. Alright. Um... Hmm. Let's get inside. Uh, what is going on here? All right, let's um, let's try starting it up first. Okay, it's on. Let's take the handbrake off. Key nine. That's key nine. Take the handbrake off. Spacebar. Spacebar takes the handbrake off. Um, can I drive it? I cannot absolutely drive it at all. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Um, hmm. Well, let's get inside. Oh, we have that reversed look inside. Left is right and right is left. The inside looks like rubbish. Just rubbish. Okay, um, let's let's play with the Okay, N is put the arm uh out. -oh, nope, M. M puts the arm out. Okay, and then... Yep, I would expect that. That's that's all correct right now. I'm going to bring it back in really quick. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to put our arm all the way in. Like that. Okay. Now, we're going to reset the little bugger. Let's see if he behaves himself when we reset him. Reset. Okay. Where do you where do you go? Bother. There he is, and no. He has not improved his personality at all. In fact, it's just as bad. Well man, that that's kinda it's kinda a bummer. It's even more of a bummer because while the link well the link goes to mod hoster and usually if you're if you find something on mod hoster it's usually semi decent. All right. Start her up, turn the handbrake off. One does yeah, 4 5 6 7 8 9 doesn't do diddly. Um And it can't drive anywhere because it's... Oh wait, it can drive. Oh wait! Oh! We just fixed it! You just have to drive it? Okay. What? What? Okay. Well, we've, we've un unstuck it from the weirdo state. My concern, of course, would be you're going to start your game back up and it's going to be in that stupid state again, so you'd want to be sure to park it outside the first couple times. But all right, let's go. Let's go see if we can pick up a hook lift set. 
And... I don't really care. Dude, really? You're an idiot. You deserve that. Um... Which side do I pick these guys up on? Ah, I hate those ones. I'm, I'm gonna just drive away from that one because I hate those ones. Let's see here. Let's check this one out. I think I pick it up from this. Yes, this side. Alright. Let's activate the hook lift. Oh, good grief. Kind of slow compared to the trailer, I think. Uh, maybe not. The one thing it doesn't have is the ability, it wouldn't be able to pick up the um, the grain or fertilizer tanks. So that is a drawback. Okay. Let's turn on our, our beacons. Beacons! Oh, look at that, we have strobes everywhere. Alright. Okay, we're hooked on. Let's bring it in. G. Ah, there's no icon in the bottom, but you still have to know that when you hook on it, it is selecting the, uh, the thingamajiggy that we're pulling on right now. <sighs> it's a minor detail that mod authors are forgetting. I don't have an icon in the bottom to tell me what is selected. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so we were able to pick it up. Do we have uh, withering wheels? We do not have withering wheels. We don't? No, we don't. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, there we go. It's... Oh, wow, that's a big old steering wheel. <laughs> I can't drive like that. 51 miles an hour. You know, it has, it has more ground presence than those Fords. Like, I can turn. Turn! And look, it doesn't flip over immediately like the Fords do. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it... It works. Um... We can turn on all kinds of lights, can't we? Look at that. We're just all lit up. Look like at a little Christmas tree. Oof. A bit of leg there <laughs> on the Christmas tree. Right, let's turn all that gubbins off. Gubbins. Alright, all the gubbins is off. Um, Alright, let's turn it off a second. Alright, I can't walk through. I could walk through it because of the whole it up in the air thing. Um, yeah. I mean, the arm is kind of Land. Is it doing the Watusi right now? Looks like it's doing the Watusi. Um, it's not the best model ever, but it does do something that, you know, otherwise I need to go get the, wherever I put the trailer. The trailer's over there. It does do the do what the trailer does, and it allows you, you know, self-motion. -mo it is bouncing. And it has Mr. Bibidendum up on the up on the top there. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's done yet. I don't think it's worthy of being called complete. It needs to be brightened up. You know, if I buy it new, I'm not going to have this ugly, ugly dark color. Um, I can also look. Notice I can look through the Scania badge to see stuff on the other side. Um, just minor little details that there's like, there's like a hole right there. That's weird. Um, just minor little details that. You know, if they're cleaned up, I think it'd be great. If it didn't spawn in and reset with its nose up in the air, it'd be even better, honestly. Okay, so that's that's the first mod. Kind of disappointed in that mod. Let's go get the Ford truck. All right, so the next mod we we have the case if i if i open it up you'll notice i've got um number 17 is the case let me get it so you can actually see it there the case ih 9120 axi flow 100 percent full of sunflowers because it's an um added fruit it won't pipe out into your standard trailer so i had to go get a multi-fruit trailer and i was thinking about it and i was like you know what if i'm going to go get a multi-fruit trailer i want to get a multi-fruit trailer so I did that 
So if we go over to Tipaz and scroll down, oops, that was too far. We have an Australian trailer. <laughs> it's um, the Aussie trailer. It's for their Australia map. It holds 62 and a half thousand liters. It's 103 and change thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and buy one. So let's buy two. All right, so we have two very big looking trailers. We can check the clips on them. We can clip directly through there. That's sort of disappointing. Yeah, that sort of disappoints me that that happens, but we also can clip through the front. So I guess it's, it is what you make of it. All right, so we've got quite the trailer and we need a truck to pull it. I've got a man truck out there, but he's attached to something right now. So we're just going to buy another man truck because I've got money. Uh, man truck, miscellaneous. Another one of these guys. There he is. All right. So the advantage of these Australian trailers, along with being multi-fruit capable, is that they can hook to each other, which means I can carry a hundred and twenty eight hundred and twenty nine thousand liters just by hooking up two of them. And in theory I could keep hooking until I was content. <laughs> Whatever that number might be. Um, so I could have one heck of a road train if I had the space. So that's kind of good. Now, this is interesting to try to, to do this. Uh, that's not going to work. Got to cut the wheel a little bit sharper. Is that going to... No. Alright. Let's try this again. Cut. Alright, straighten her out. Boom. There we go. So we have ourselves real big old road train. Um, let's turn the beacons on because we're going to need beacons for this thing. Wowzer. I mean, this is a big old load here. <laughs> oh, look, there's beacons on the trailers. How appropriate. Now, if I turn the lights on. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, so that works too. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's go get some uh, multi-fruit. Let's go get some sunflowers. So now we got ourselves that big old road train. Now this is great for, I mean like, this would have been awesome in Kansas. I mean, I could have, I could have done entire fields <laughs> with a big old road train in Kansas. And because they're multi-fruit, that's even better. It means we can run, we can empty out our uh, multi-fruit harvester and that's awesome. Um, it is big. I mean, you do need a big map for this, but you know, there there's a there's certainly a an advantage to these trailers. All right, stop, stop. Okay, let's go get this guy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I want I want in. Um, turn that. Turn you on. All right, pipe out. Oh, I have to be in that mode, and that means I had to find how to get in that mode. B, no, N, no, M, M, no, V, C, no, that's a cab, Z, no, L, no, K, K, K is the mode. Ugh, that's right. All right, so, pipe is over a trailer now. It's a multi-fruit trailer. What the heck? Seriously? What is going on? Why won't you accept fruit? Mm. Are you just being difficult for reasons? See, even says multi-fruit on the side. What do you not like about this trailer? Everybody else doesn't mind it. You're just being picky. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we can try this again. This way. There, your entire bloody pipe is over a dang trailer. Pipe the heck out. Hmm. So why isn't this working? How annoying. Alright, let's... You know what? I, I want to test this now. Let's, let's go for a little drive. We'll drive over to the... Um, one of these fields, I think this field has a, yes, has a, a, a thingamajiggy, <laughs> a container. We're going to drive over here and we're going to see if it pipes into the container. If it doesn't pipe into the container, then I'm really confused about what is wrong with this harvester. I don't understand. It said it was a multi-fruit trailer. The harvester harvested the sunflowers. Didn't say it couldn't. All right, let's see. Are you gonna be nice? Are you gonna Are you gonna pipe out? No. What the heck? Um, no. No, no, no. Oh, we're going the wrong way now. Um, you, you, not you, you, not you. Aha. Okay. Hmm, that was kind of annoying and disappointing all at the same time. Watch out, dude. Big truck turning around. Alright, well... Problematic. What the heck? If you know <laughs> what I am doing wrong, by all means, I'm sure you've already told me, actually. <laughs> I'm actually filming this before the uh, Case, IA, Case IH Spotlight goes live. Um, for personal reasons of I want to. <laughs> Dude! You idiot. <laughs> uh, I love farming on the moon, don't you? It's obvious we're on the moon. Oh my goodness. This would not be something I would want to deal with um, in a small map. <laughs> it's definitely something for Australia, Kansas, the kind of maps where you have plenty of room to make a nice big turn. Um, what do we have the most of? We have the most of barley, which is... Where's barley? Dinkle, Rogan, Haffer... Um... I don't really know which one's barley. I'm I'm going to guess. I'll guess wrong, but I'm going to guess. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. <laughs> Close that. All right. All right. I don't think it's hearse. I know it's not Sona Bloom. I know it's not that. That's canola. I'm going to guess it is Gerst. Now, I have noticed that with this truck, notice I only show one trailer attached, even though I have two trailers attached. I don't like that. That is a problem to me. <laughs> I'm not, so not going to make that. Uh, and we're not even full. What in the world do we have in here? I was right! Yay! So, 42,000 liters. Oh my gosh. I've got this, this whole thing knackered up, don't I? No, I can make that. Yeah, how about that? So I have 42,000 liters, and the bugger isn't even close to full. All right, now I want to... There. That's that guy. So now we just have the one trailer. Now let's figure out how this guy dumps. Turn, 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 turn. Open sesame. Okay, it says dump here, so let's hit Q. Ah! Here we go, it's a belly hopper. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. So there we go. Um, it'll accept 
sunflower, I think. We have any sunflower. Let's find out if we have any sunflower. Um, apparently not. Okay, well... What do you know? Alright, turn that guy off and turn that off. Don't. I left the lights on. Turn the lights off. There. Okay. So there we go. These are the Australian trailers. Ye they're 112,000 apiece, but they carry they carry more than the in-game trailer wherever the heck it is located. Um, and you can string them together to make a huge road train if you want to, which is awesome. You do need a uh, tractor, uh, a good powerful tractor that class Xeron over there would work, or a semi cab to do the the hauling. Um, I probably could check that. Hold on. Um, uh, where is... Where is... Just buy another one, there. It's not like you're hurting for money. Sort of by machine type. Tippers, we want a... Let's get a duo. Let's reset that. There he is. What the blazes? Oh, you're stuck on that thing. Really? Ugh. We have to clean up this farm again. Alright, we're going to get the the good old class here. Nope, that's not how that one starts. That one starts this way. Okay, good. Okay, let's go get the duo. Hopefully it won't cause complete disaster when I pick it up. I want to make sure that we can hook in okay with the duo. Alright, this ought to be fun. Okay. Hook up. You hook? Yes, you do. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna say, yeah, this is a great thing, and then you can't hook a trailer a tractor to it, because that would really, really be a downer. So let's get this back then. There we go. So there we go. We can certainly hook it up to the in-game duo. And it works just fine. So there we go. There is the Australian trailers. Um, how do I turn this guy off again? Oh my goodness. Why? No. Enter. Oh wait, I have to get to the tractor. There. Jeez. Derping today. Alright, so these are the Australian multi-fruit trailers. Big capacity, larger than the in-game trailer, and you can string them together, create yourself a nice little road train. Over here we have the Scania hooklift truck. Um, it's not worth it. It's not done yet, as far as I'm concerned, and I think it's actually moving ever so slightly across my yard, but that's whatever. Um, it spawns in funny, it resets funny, and I don't, I just don't feel like it is done yet. Now, you guys have also seen my other problem. If you haven't already told me in the Case IH uh, spotlight, how the heck do I get the sunflower out of my case? Now that I got it in there. All right, until next time, this has been Dare Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. <laughs>